Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. We got a gameplay review here for you for Metal Core, and this is the closed beta, which is actually officially closed now. Uh, it was open for, for several weeks, and I had a chance to go ahead and jump in there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to talk about the project, give you some background information, then jump in there and show you some of the details as far as the gameplay goes. So you can go ahead and get ready for open beta, which should be available very soon here. If you like first-person shooters, PvE, PvP style games, this is a game that you may want to take a, a good look at. It has everything that you need from team play to PvP to shooting to missions that you have to go out there. You can craft different vehicles and ride around in those. Lots of cool things involved in this game. But before we jump into the video, please take the, a quick look at this disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research before you jump into any project. Don't take my word for it. Just make sure it's right for your situation. Before we go ahead and dive into the actual gameplay view of it, uh, let me talk about a little bit of the background of the game itself. It is on Immutable X uh, blockchain, but it is available through Epic, which means that you can go ahead out there and once the open beta is available, go ahead and play for free. Uh, I'm not sure once the game launches if you'll need some NFTs for that. I'm still digging into that, so we'll find out more information about that here in the coming future. But as of right now, once open beta goes ahead and opens up, you'll be able to get in there. For closed beta, they did have it restricted quite a bit where you needed a special code with an Epic in order to go ahead and get access. Uh, so I, I'm not sure the full details of what's going to be the, the requirements for launch and open beta and all that. Uh, but they do have a sign up form on their website. If you go over to metalcore.gg, uh, you can go ahead and sign up to, to claim one of the spots and one, so you get some of the vehicles, uh, as far as beta goes. And these are some cool things. I was able to go ahead during closed beta and jump in and, and play some of these. Uh, so it, they've maneuvered very well there. It was a little bit of a learning curve at first, but they did maneuver pretty well once you got the hang of it. This is a first person shooter style game. Uh, again, it's not just an arena style game like we've seen some other ones. Uh, this is you could you actually going on missions. You have some it's PVP, PVE. You're going to have some teammates that are on your side for this. So it's it's some pretty cool uh, futuristic call. I, I don't want to quite say call of duty style uh, because there's a lot of uh, robots and stuff like that involved in it uh, but it kind of gives that feel for it a little bit a little bit we'll just say that so uh, it is not mobile friendly it is a downloadable client uh, so it's not like you can go ahead and jump on mobile and play it so you're going to download that from epic you can actually go out to epic now and and wish list the game if you want to go ahead and take an early look at it it is launching this year. Like I said, they just did closed beta. They're doing open beta here shortly. No exact date on open beta yet, but they did reassure me that it is coming soon. Uh, as of right now, it is free to play, but as I mentioned earlier, that may that may adjust here in the future. Uh, and then it's PvP. Uh, there's a lot of PvP, so if you like the first-person shooter PvP style or the first-person shooter PvE style, you can go ahead and check this one out. So let's jump over to the website here for a quick second. As I mentioned earlier, if you go to the website right now, metalcore.gg, you can go ahead and sign up, put your email address in there, and they'll go ahead and send you an email, and that'll give you a free vehicle once open beta starts. Uh, so when I kicked off the game, I actually went through, uh, it was like, almost like a tutorial. And at the end of the tutorial, you were able to craft a small vehicle, but these are going to be some cool vehicles that go along with it. Uh, so it's it's definitely worth checking out if if this is a game that may interest you because you might get a, a free vehicle just for for signing up and, and getting uh, becoming aware of what's coming here in the future. Um, so some other details uh, you can go ahead and check out. They didn't have a ton in here uh, as far as the game feature to go play to win. You're, you're trying to obviously go through these missions and defeat the different bosses. The, the, you, you're going to pick a side. That's where the PvP side comes into it. So they had. If I remember correctly, they had three different uh, groups that you could go ahead and join. And at some point, they're all going to battle against each other. You own your own crafts. Uh, you build your own area. When you get through the initial tutorial, you have, it's, they call it the garage that you go into. And it's it's got a whole bunch of different areas in there. Um, I'm excited to explore it a little bit more. I didn't have a ton of time to play the closed beta. Uh, so I'm hoping once open beta comes around, I'll, I'll get be able to put more time into it and be able to show you a whole lot more. So we're just doing a sneak peek today. See if it's something that you're interested in. See if you want to go ahead and sign up and, and take a look at open beta. So just scrolling down as far as the timeline goes, pretty straightforward. 
Uh, they are hoping to do the, the open beta here shortly uh, in Q2. Uh, and then they're going to progress and try and launch this as soon as possible within this year. So you can actually go ahead and see they have Faction Wars, uh, which is the PvP side of it. Uh, and then they're going to have Garage Updates, which allows you to build your own items within the game. So enough of the website. Let's actually go ahead and jump over to the closed beta footage that I have. Uh, I was able to capture while closed beta was available. All right, we are in the game now. Well, technically we're on a, a video that I recorded of the game earlier. Um, as you can see, it's a shooter. Uh, you're fighting a lot of robots and some armored men that are in here. You get kind of plopped right down uh, and you are set on a mission right away where you have to go ahead and gather a bunch of blueprints and take out a bunch of these enemies that are out there. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a nice tutorial to give you a feel for the game. Uh, the nice the other nice thing about the tutorial itself is at the end of it, you get your first vehicle. So you are going around trying to defeat these enemies, gather a bunch of blueprints that allow you to go ahead and craft that first vehicle, which you'll see here at the end of the video. Uh, and then you're just working through just getting a feel for the whole thing. Um, most of the enemies are relatively easy, but as you can see, I, I'm not the best first person shooters player, um, but I, I, I try. Um, so I, but I, it was fun. I had a, I had a blast, even though I wasn't very good at the first person shooter side. Um, most of the, the enemies were pretty easy. Again, it was a tutorial side of it. Um, but when we got to the end, there was up here, you'll see soon is like a, a spider or an octopus, a, a spider style robot that was super, super tough. Um, but thankfully he didn't move. And I think that'll be adjusted as they go through into open beta and launch, um, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I was actually hoping to get a lot more footage for this. Uh, I was hoping to actually record more today, uh, but unfortunately it closed over the weekend. Right there's the, that's the spider looking uh, robot that I was talking about. Not that guy, but the red one that you'll see here again in a second, that guy. Um, so I was hoping to record more today to give you more background and more details and, and video of it. Uh, unfortunately, the closed beta ended over the weekend, which I didn't realize when I was planning this all out. Uh, but they do, they did reassure me a number of times that uh, open beta is right around the corner. So once that launches, I'll go ahead and do a follow up video and show you a whole lot more of the gameplay. But I think this gives you a good feel for what the style is like. Um, uh, you have a ton of different weapons in the game itself. Uh, and then here is the, the vehicle, the first vehicle that you craft. Uh, it's kind of like an ATV motorcycle style thing uh, that you can fly across the land. It goes pretty fast. It's, it, it took a little bit of time to get used to the actual uh, maneuvering and controlling it. Um, but once you got the hang of it, it was actually relatively easy. Um, and you can see it's going to stop here. So I'm going to restart the video while I continue to talk. Um, so so it, it's a, a fun game. Um, like I said, for someone that doesn't really enjoy a ton of first-person shooter games, I actually had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, and I'm looking forward towards the, the open beta. A um, couple other things, like I said, they have a ton of different weapons within the game itself, a um, ton of different styles of bullets. As you can see on the bottom right, you can switch the style of bullets that you're going ahead and shooting. And then on the bottom left, you have grenades too, which I, I didn't I didn't catch uh, when I was first fighting that spider boss guy. Um, I wish I would have realized that or I thrown a few uh, grenades out there. Um, but next time, when open beta comes out, we'll, we'll go ahead and test all that fun stuff out there the game itself um overall i liked it like i said i i'm not the biggest fan of first person shooters um but this one actually caught my attention and i enjoyed it, it remind me of halo i don't know why it just it's not necessarily the same same style of game like there's some similarities um but it gave it kicked me back to when i used to play halo um so that's i had fun with that um there's some little things that i think they're going to adjust to it uh, the tutorial, I guess, was supposed to be a little bit easier, uh, just so you get a feel for the game. But I'm, I'm really interested to see how uh, the the open beta plays out and see what the differences are for that. Uh, and definitely want to give you more footage on this one. So it's it's definitely one that you're going to see a sequel for me for because uh, once open beta comes out there, so I can test it out a little bit more. What were your thoughts? Um, is this a game that you're interested? Uh, go ahead down in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts of the game are. Did you have a chance to jump into closed beta and test it out yourself? I'm sure you got further than I did if you were able to jump in there. Uh, like I said, I, I was hoping to play some more today, uh, but didn't realize that closed beta was ending over the weekend. But uh, it is what it is. Open beta will be here around the corner. 
Uh, and that's it for today. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.